So I got this Mighty Vac brake bleed pump, and I've got it to like minus 25. So even with minus 25, it's still not enough consistent vacuum to do a, a full brake bleed on a car. So I got to use this hand pump and pump it around 100, 200 times for every wheel. In lieu of that, we decided to use the HVAC vacuum pump. So I just took a glass jar like this, drilled out and attached two quarter inch barbs, bought a coupler and a brass barb attachment for the compressor, got the plastic tubing, and this came from another bleed kit. So when I turn the compressor on, full vacuum. But this is so convenient doing a brake service where you want to drain out all the brake fluid out of your system. Now if you want to do this as a one-man operation and you don't want to keep revisiting the brake reservoir, filling this up with new fluid as old fluid is getting sucked out through the vacuum machine, you fill this up with brake fluid, remove the cap, turn this upside down, attach it to the lip of the container, open the valve, and it will fill in air pockets or as the fluid level drops down, new fluid will be introduced to the container. And this is how this could be a complete one-man operation. Expect to go through the entire quart changing brake fluid. Okay, now we're ready to connect our service connector. Now we're we'll turn on the pump. Flow's coming out, looking a little clearer. See that? It's not brown anymore. Yep, I think they're good. Try doing that with a hand pump. Okay, now we'll just shut this valve off. And look how clean the reservoir is. We purged out all the dirty brake fluid from all four wheels. And we're done.